hi everybody and welcome back to my channel now I'm doing my second application of doing a, my own acrylic nails with the dip system the quick dip system and for those that don't know um, or your first time seeing this it's called the ASP color quick dip kit color quick and I'll link, leave a link in the description if you're interested in getting this and what happens is what you get in this you get the three dipping so the three dipping powders this one is um, this one is called French pink I don't know if you can see that okay and then this one is your white and this one is your passion pink now I'm not going to use these two today I'm just going to use um, the French pink today and also comes in the kit is um, your glue your glue your uh, quick dip cure what act activates the glue makes it hard you also get a package of nails and I don't know what I did with them right now but I don't use those nails um, because they're re relatively long and I don't like long nails so what I use is the nails that I got out of this kiss kiss brush on glue nail kit they are the right length for me even though I kind of bowed them down a little short but this is what I did on the first hand okay on my first hand it's my right my right hand and you always want to do your dominant hand first so I've already done that so let's get started what you want to do first is um, clean up your cuticle cuticles is what I've already done that and I use this instant this Hall Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover I did that and clean up my cuticles push them back with my excuse me I thought I had everything laid out with my cuticle stick I use this and all I did was push them back and clean them up okay so you want to do that and what you want to do next is to slightly buff the shine off your nails so I'm gonna do that right now do it very gently because you don't want to ruin your nails so I'm gonna do that right quick and while I'm doing this I can just I'll tell you this when you before you start you want to go through and pick out your nails and match them up um, to fit your nails your natural nails and um, you don't want them too big you really don't want them too big um, and you don't want them too small but even if they're a little too big you can always um, file them down to fit but so we've done that so they've all make sure and then you can brush it brush off the um, dust okay so then and, and I just want to say right here that this system can be put on your natural nails you don't have to use tips but um, since my nails are really really short I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use this until my nails grow out so I got my nails already picked out so here you see this one if it's perfect from side to side I don't know if you can see that perfect from side to side so what you want to do now is take your glue and you want to put a bead of glue just some glue right there not too much just a thin coating of glue and then you want to press it on your nail 
Make sure this is it. It adheres really well. Okay. Just hold it there for a few seconds till it sticks, and then press the sides. Make sure it's nice and good. Okay. So now you just want to do that with all your nails. Well, I guess I may, must not have put enough glue on that. This one, for some reason, has is having problems sticking. There we go. I may not put too much. I may. First time I probably didn't put enough. And then this time I probably put a little too much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these on, on. And I will be back as soon as I'm finished. Okay, now I got all five tips on. Okay. So now if your tips came with these little tabs, all you do is. Back and forth and twist the tabs off. Okay. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is just file them a little bit, just rough it up a little, a little bit on the top, and take that little piece off on the front from the tab if it's if it's there now if you have nails that tips that are um a little bit too wide just go ahead and file them in or you could you could file them in to fit beforehand if you want to okay so now generally i'll shape mine before i put the um the dip powder on it but Yesterday, well, when I did the first hand, which was yesterday, I did the first hand yesterday, my right hand yesterday, I ended up fouling it too much. So I'm going to wait until after, after I put the dip powder on. Now, <clears throat> what you need to do now is very simple. You're going to take your glue. I think I need more glue. Um, you're going to take your glue and you're going to put it on your nail and Stay away from your cuticle and stay away from the si your side of your finger, your skin on the side of your finger, okay? Put a nice thin coat on, okay? And all you're going to do is take it in and stick it in the powder. Pull it out and tap off the excess, okay? Now, I'm going to do this one more time. So you take your glue, and this time you, you don't brush it on. Just pat it on. Stay away from your cuticle area. Just pat it on. Okay? Stay away from the side of your side wall. I got a little glitter in this one from doing this nail. <laughs> this nail, I don't know if you do this one. Yeah. So then you're going to take it again and just stick it in. Pull it out and then pat it off. Now, so I, I didn't get that area right there. So I'm going to go back in and put a little bit of glue here. You see that? A little bit here. 
And then we're going to dip it back in. Pat it off. Okay. So, that is that. I'm going to stick it back in. And that's how you do it. I'm sorry. My apologies. And so we're going to move on to the next one. And take your glue. Glue. And then again, brush it on. Staying away from your cuticle and your sidewall. Sidewall of your, your finger, your nail. You don't want to get it on your skin. Because what happens is if you... um. If you get it on your cuticle, it's going to cause lifting. So you don't want to do that. And I learned that the hard way the first time around. Okay, see that? So we're going to go in again. Some more glue. Oh, y'all know what I forgot? I missed a step. I'm going to go back and finish up that other nail because there's another step. <laughs> and um, I'll do it on this and I'll show you. So you're going to go, you're going to pat the glue in on again. You're going to stick it in the, in the powder again. Okay. Now, you can do it, I, I only do it two times because the first time I did it three times and it was so thick and that I had to end up buffing it um, a lot to get it down. Okay, so after you dip it your last time, you want to... Put the glue on it again. Put the glue on again. Okay. Now, I'm going to move this out of the way because what you want to do after then is take your activation spray, your cure, quick dip cure, and spray it twice. And this is going to harden it. Okay? So I'll do it again. So I dipped this one twice already. And then the last time I come up with the glue, come back with the glue. And I need to get another bottle of glue. This one's about gone. And pat the glue on it again. Make sure you get it all, cover it all. Okay, take this glue right there, I'm going to take that off, and then I'm going to spray it twice. And it only takes a few seconds to harden. So this is what they're looking like. So, I'm going to finish these up and I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm done with the dipping, and um, I hope you all saw how I did that. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my file, I'm going to fake take my file. You can leave yours like that. If you like your nail square like that, you can leave that. But I like mine round. So I'm going to, I'm going to file my nails. Yeah, sometimes I get glue on the side and you're not supposed to. So <laughs> I got to get that loose and you want to file. Okay, so just do that. Shape your nails however you want to. And then we're going to um, smooth them out on top. So after I finish shaping my nails, I'll come back with showing you the um, smoothing it out on top. Okay, so now that I got them all filed and shaped the way I want them. Um, so all you need to do is take a sanding block. Um, I use this one. It's pretty much... Um, worn out but it still has a little life left in it so i'm going to take this and i'm just going to go over the top and smooth smooth it out a little bit the uh, formula is self-leveling so you shouldn't have to do too much buffing see it's already smooth okay 
stuff. And you just do that to every last one of them, to all your nails. So now all you have to do now is, um, I kind of missed a spot on this one over here, but that's okay. It'll last for a couple of weeks. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Now at this point, you're, you're pretty much done. And all you need to do is take a shine block and just put a shine on your nails. But to me, that doesn't shine them enough for me. Plus, I'm going to decorate mine. But this is what they look like once you're done. And they pretty much look like the, like you went to the salon. And with practice, that's what they'll look like. I got a little bump there, so I'm going to file that down um, and make it smoother. But um, if you choose to be done here, um, make sure you put some cuticle oil on your, on your cuticles. Treat them. Because you just put put them through a little bit of something, <laughs> but anyway, um, what I'm going to do, I'm I'm going to decorate my nails. See, I I started decorating this hand, and I put glitter on this one and some rhinestone flowers. Then I put some um, like a, a a bow type rhinestone on this one. But I want to do some more decorating um, on my nails. And the glitter that I used is just, I bought these little containers from the Dollar Tree. And then I just bought this glitter from the Dollar Tree and I just put it in the container. And if you're going to decorate it, do not cure it with your cure yet. Put the um, last coat of glue on and then dip your finger in the glitter and then come back and put another coat of glue on and then cure it okay so that is the end of my video i hope you enjoy this they look pretty good for my second try um hopefully this time i'll get two weeks out of it the first the first time around they started popping off with uh <coughs> Excuse me, at about a week. So, <coughs> give me that coughing spell, y'all. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. My throat got a little tickled there. But anyway, I'm going to decorate my my nails now and um, do some final tuning up on th on them. But they they're smooth. They look good. They feel good. Um, just as if I went to a nail salon and paid them. I don't even know what it costs now. $45 to get your nails done now? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave the link to the two kits that I used in this video at the bottom in the descriptions. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because there will be more videos coming as I learn how to do my nails, my own nails, and um, try out new products. Um, when as it comes to doing my own nails, I've, I've already ordered some new products. I can't wait till they get here I'm so excited. I can't wait till they get here and try those So don't forget to subscribe to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and like to see more and turn on the notification bell So you'll no be notified when there's new video when there's a new video up as Always I wish you a good day 
Be blessed and always be humble. Take care.